New on 13 Action News Live at 6, they're plugging in extension cords to use power and stealing from residents. Tonight, neighbors in a mobile home community say they've had it with what they're calling homeless havoc. When you ask, we investigate. Contact 13 investigative reporter Joe Bartels is live near Sahara and Lamb with more on what's happening there. Joe. Yeah, Steve and Tricia, just beyond this center block wall, there is a mobile home park of about 300 units. Now follow with me here. Just beyond the center block wall, there's some say there's a hidden world that's causing real problems. In this quiet 55 and over community, it's a slower pace of life, but an unpleasant element has moved in. They were all camped out. There was two camps on the other side here by the freeway. Richard Newcomb at Sand Creek Mobile Home Park says it's homeless havoc. A group of people invading yards and terrorizing older folks. They had run an extension cord or several extension cords from where those two trees are right there across this aisle over to my neighbor's house. These are the extension cords that were plugged into some of the homes to power the homeless encampment and to charge their cell phones. Faucets are fair game to wash up and also to wet their whistles. When they're, you know, using people's water or they're using people's power or whatever it may be, we're constantly having to battle it. When Contact 13 visited, the camp was gone, which is part of the problem, says management. It's hard to track down the transients. They'll be back. You know they'll be back. Clark County says they will work with the park and help the homeless using their crisis intervention team to connect them to housing and other resources. And Contact 13 has learned that this is an NDOT access area and these gates should be closed as well as some fence gaps need to be uh, closed. I spoke to NDOT just a few uh, hours ago. They say they're going to send crews out here early next week to fix this fence and close these gaps. They say they spend millions every year cleaning up damage from the homeless. Reporting live, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News. Joe, thank you. And we looked into this after a viewer reached out to us. As always, if you have a problem you would like us to check out, just send us an email to 13investigates at ktnv.com and please include your name and phone number.